Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 5th, 2020. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Yesterday was a very interesting day. We had a gap down in the morning and we just kind of languished along. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at a 15 minute chart, we really didn't go much of anywhere most of the day until we got the news that the FOMC or the, the Treasury Department planned to borrow $3 trillion. After that, it was all said and done. The market loved to hear that news, I guess, and we started to rally. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our chair, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep. So this morning, everyone, we have a bullish market. We have a recovery that occurred um, after learning that the Treasury Department was going to borrow $3 trillion this quarter. Um, for some reason, the market just can't get enough debt. Um, it doesn't, um, you know, um, the negative earnings growth, um, unemployment of 30 trillion doesn't matter. Um, we are competing with a, f with a government that is spending um, as quickly as they can print and the market loves it. So what we have going on here is a nice bullish move as a result of that. Who would have thought that uh, borrowing $3 trillion would uh, inspire the market to go up? But that's exactly what's happened here. If we take a look at this trend, you can see we kind of broke down that trend right here. And I'm, I'm leaving this as kind of that outlier here in the market and as you can see we came down tested this area down in here didn't quite make it all the way down to support yesterday but we are gapping substantially higher this morning after the end of day rally on that news of the new debt so let's take a look here what does that really mean well technically we have to acknowledge the fact that we held the 50-day moving average as support. And now following through this morning, we're confirming that move to the upside. Now there's still definite challenges ahead in this chart, and I don't wanna be waving the all clear sign here by any means, but we're rallying up sharply this morning and notice we will test this eight exponential moving average as resistance this morning. So we're bullish this morning, we're pushing up. And I don't know if you've noticed, but it really doesn't matter what the earnings are. Um, we, we rally on bad earnings, we rally on good earnings. Um, the market is just totally focused on um, federal government, FOMC, spending into the market. That's the only thing that seems to matter right now. So even though we have a massive, massive day of earnings uh, today, I'm not sure that that's going to matter. Um, we get terrible earnings and stocks rally. We get good earnings and stocks rally. So we'll just have to stay focused with this price action here and um, I guess lean into the wind. Uh, plug your nose and, and buy because that's the only thing that the market seems to see here is bullishness around um, this expanding debt and and the money being plowed into the market. So let's stay focused on the price action here. And price is king. Right now we have a bullish hold of the 50 day moving average and we are moving up. Now I don't have to understand it and I don't even have to like it. What I do have to do is focus on the price action and trade with the market. And that's what is going on here. We are rallying uh, this morning. So let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also doing the same situation. We, we didn't quite make it down there to that 50-day moving average. And, and by the way, I'll, I would like to point out that the 50-day moving average is still in decline. They, they haven't even turned up yet. But our shorter term averages have. You can see there's a 34 EMA, that kind of that orange line that I have there, is the 34 exponential, the 20 simple. And they have crossed back up through that 50. So we can probably expect over the next 10, 15 days, we'll start to see that um, 50 day moving average start to flatten out and maybe turn. But right now, um, that's not the case. But we've got a really nice little hold here yesterday, gap down, 
push back up and buyers stepping in here, pushing up pretty strongly here. Now we're gonna run up here and probably test that 500 day moving average as resistance in the chart. That's that green line there. Whether or not that will have any effect in holding the market down, I don't know. But right now, uh, trends are in place. Bulls are in control and we are driving higher and it doesn't seem to matter. Um, about anything else we just want to go up seems to be an unlimited um, desire to buy up stocks right now um, and it really doesn't matter that they're closed that their earnings are poor that their forecasts are unavailable uh, for the future we just want to buy risk so that's what's going on here uh, this morning and this beautiful gap up here this morning is suggesting we're confirming this hold of support we're confirming trend and the market is long at the moment let's take a look at the cues now the cues being the strongest index of the bunch it really didn't have a whole lot of risk yesterday in this pullback and you can see leaving behind a very strong bullish engulfing candle after yesterday's gap down and just a a, a full-on acknowledgement that the bulls are in control here and we're rallying up sharply here this morning with a big gap up in fact we're going to be really really close to testing this area up in here this resistance area around 219 uh this morning um very very strong here in the chart trends are still in play and in um, set in control so bulls um, have all control here we may just um, well see us rally right back up through here who knows we may be attacking these highs up here heck let's borrow 20 trillion dollars maybe we can just blow the top off of this market <laughs> if we borrow enough money but we're looking pretty good here right now and the bulls are certainly pushing and in control here this morning let's take a look at iwm iwm also made a confirmation hold of its 50-day moving average yesterday and holding on to a kind of an important area of support we're still just a little bit below that 2018 low but holding this support area right in here was a good sign and holding that 50-day moving average that that 50-day is certainly still in decline hasn't even come close to starting to turn back up but you can see we're looking at a gap up open here this morning bulls are pushing hard and trend is being held so you got to give it up to the bulls they are hanging hanging on they are in control let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low um, ratio and as you can see yesterday we pushed down pretty sharply um, in that move yesterday and now we're bouncing back up so this morning with our gap up open I'm gonna expect us to be pushing back up here into this area whether or not we can push right on through I don't know but it looks like we're gonna get a pretty substantial move back up without coming down to test this uh, bullish resistance zone so uh, or bullish reversal zone so we're moving back up here in the market pretty strongly if we take a look at the VIX the VIX yesterday had um, a gap up open and a complete reversal on that move yesterday as a matter of fact I was looking at VXX yesterday and suggested to the traders in hit run can or right way options um that there was a great um 15 minute short setup here um in the chart and that really played out toward the end of the day that 15 minute short uh worked really really well so bulls are in control here and you can see even though we've gapped back above that 50-day moving average this morning we're gapping back below that and this will constitute a failure of that 50-day moving average on vxx and if we take a look at the vix again whoops we have um, that failure over here of that 50 and we have a confirmed lower high now in the VIX following the trend lower so as we move on down here uh, fear dropping out of the market um, 
doesn't seem to matter. We just want to go up. So let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today and see what's going on in our economic calendar. If we take a look here on that economic calendar, we have a couple things that could move us around. But you know, one of the things that we've been learning here lately is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that we have 30 million people unemployed. It doesn't matter if housing sales are off. It doesn't matter if manufacturing has declined. Um, we're going up. So we have international trade in goods today. They're expecting a pretty poor number there. Um, this morning, but I'm not sure that's going to matter. And the ISM non-manufacturing has never been one of those big numbers to really move the market around. We have three Fed speakers today that we might want to keep an eye on. Hey, if they come out and say, hey, let's keep spending, let's keep borrowing, um, that kind of thing, maybe the market just rallies all that much more. So let's watch and uh, keep an eye on those. Truth of the matter is we probably won't learn anything new from them, but we always want to pay attention to those Fed speakers when they're out there speaking. Keep in mind, we still have to get past this really big number here on Friday. That's that employment situation number. And perhaps the market will wise up to that here in a bit and say, oh, wait a minute, that's coming. Maybe we ought to take a breath here. I don't know, um, but we'll want to watch that closely as we progress toward the end of the week. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We have a massive day of earnings today, and it's only going to get stronger as the as the week goes on. Um, today, nearly 375 companies reporting earnings. But once again, I don't think it matters because we, we report horrible earnings, um, negative earnings growth, and the market rallies. What's happened is analysts have lowered the target so much, companies are beating those targets and no one's paying attention to the fact that we have negative earnings growth. Doesn't matter, we're going higher, we're valuing these companies up even though their earnings are in decline. But that being said, we have a lot of things to report today that we might wanna pay attention to. Um, Newmont Mining, is reporting uh, today and it looks like it is uh, pricing about where it closed, at least at the moment right now. Newmont, uh, one of those gold sector stocks that has done really, really well lately. Um, let's watch for that report this morning. We have a big report from Disney today. Disney will be reporting and looks like it is indicated to open about where it closed at the moment. ATVI, some of these gamer stocks have done extremely well here. Um, and have benefited from the coronavirus as everybody buying up games and having activities while they stayed at home. And you can see that it is indicated higher here this morning. I'm not gonna go through everything, um, um, everything that I see as a potential because we'd, we'd run out of time. There's so many companies reporting today. Um, Alaska, Alaska Air, here's a great example. Um, airplanes not flying, no income. They're getting massive government funding and we're gonna gap up this morning with airlines. Um, AGN, AGN also looking bullish here this morning, holding in there pretty well, healthcare hanging in pretty, pretty nice um, during um, uh, this, uh, these events. Um, we've got really good price action uh, signals here in a lot of oil stocks. Devon, as you can see, I've got marked up here, um, marked up holding a great little trend and holding at price support. Let me move this line. Holding at price support. So if you are looking for a potential entry into a trade, you might want to look at some of the oil sector stocks that are looking really, really good. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit. But you can see Devin um, looking to move higher this morning. And I expect we're going to see that across a lot of the oil sector stocks um, this morning. Take a look at D, Dominion. It is reporting today. No report so far. DD is also reporting today it is gapping up this morning holding into a very nice trend as you can see and showing bullishness here this morning so nice move on that EA Electronic Arts also gapping up this morning breaking out as a matter of fact 
Um, not all-time highs, but a beautiful breakout here in that chart. Um, EA looking very, very strong. Take a look at um, KGC. KGC. Looks like it's going to gap slightly lower here this morning. Um, we have OXY. Another oil sector stock gapping substantially higher this morning, holding into a beautiful trend and gapping on up this morning. How about cake? Cake gapping up this morning. Restaurants, um, though they've been closed, though they've not been making any money, um, gapping up this morning. So there you go. How about Wayfair? Now Wayfair's had a huge benefit from everything going on in the market. And you can see uh, Wayfair has been doing a beautiful job. And I've got a price alert on this chart. Beautiful bullish candle yesterday. Looks like it is pushing back just a little bit um, this morning. And I think that's probably a good thing. This rally is so strong. Um, I think a little more rest or consolidation up in here makes some sense. Holding above this support, proving that, um, there might be some great opportunity here in Wayfair once it kind of finishes this consolidation move up here. How about Mattel? Mattel moving up um, off of these lows. You can see we've got this really slight trend up. Don't see a report here this morning just yet that's moving it higher, but um, looking pretty decent so far today in the, its hold. How about Trip? TripAdvisor, well, these companies obviously can't be doing very well with all of travel being basically shut down, but hey, we're rallying and we're gonna gap up here this morning on TripAdvisor, um, you know, go figure, right? Um, how about Win? Win Casinos, Win Casinos has been holding up nicely in the trend. We're also gapping up this morning on Win. So lots of bullishness here this morning and lots of earnings reports that, I, again, I'm not sure it really matters what they report. Um, we wanna go up. One more, I'm gonna, uh, just to kind of make a joke, I guess. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness has been rising in a strong trend, although all of these fitness places have been closed. Um, doesn't matter. Look how much we've rallied off of these lows and Planet Fitness uh, may even gap higher this morning. So um, there you go. Just proof that it doesn't have to make sense. Um, what we have to do is follow the price action in the chart. So with that, hey everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those thumbs up buttons. Um, if you find this video to be helpful, leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I know there's a lot of sarcasm in this video this morning, but you know, it's just one of those things that's just kind of humorous to me that um, we're ignoring anything that's bad right now in the market and we're choosing to just rally on virtually anything in the market. But that being said, you know, it really doesn't matter what I think and it really doesn't matter what you think or what your bias of the market is. What matters is what price is doing. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trading long. As a matter of fact, I bought long trades yesterday. I'm trading long because I'm moving with the direction of the market. And that's all we have to do. We don't have to understand it. We just have to follow the market condition. So if we take a look, there was a huge number of companies um, yesterday that um, just had beautiful, beautiful charts. And I added a bunch of trade alerts um, so stocks that could be setting up, let's take a look. Humana, Humana, beautiful breakout. This is a really steep rally, but healthcare's been looking good. Humana, um, looking good, holding this price support in here, showing some bullishness, very nice looking chart. You've already seen that chart of Wayfair that I placed an alert on, that's looking good. How about Weight Watchers? Weight Watchers rallying up nicely, holding support levels. You can see I've got a price alert on this chart and it looks like Weight Watchers is looking to move higher this morning. Keep an eye on that, looking very, very good here. NLOK, a beautiful consolidation here over toward the trend. 
breaking through this resistance um, right here and holding it as support. And now we have this gap above that could maybe be filled. Keep an eye on that chart. Beautiful chart. C-I-E-N also gorgeous chart breaking through resistance. Look at this blue sky highs up here. Breaking through this resistance, holding a support. I'm watching this area in here. If CIEN can pop out and hold this trend. How about O'Reilly? O'Reilly looking very good. Beautiful upside trend. Looking all kinds of sexy here. Dealing with some resistance in this chart and trying to push on through nice bullish candle yesterday on that move tck tck challenging some resistance up here now i do expect tck is likely going to consolidate a little bit more over here toward the trend but it could also do this i've seen we've seen this a lot particularly lately where we'll pop out of that resistance and then draw back toward that trend so watch that area in there on tck Home Depot, beautiful potential setup. Home Depot running up its trend, looking good, breaking through resistance levels, holding them as support, and now showing bullishness. And looks like um, Home Depot gapping a little bit higher this morning, moving on up. These are just charts that I laid out yesterday for potentials. They're just, there's beauty everywhere in the market right now, bullishness everywhere. Um, as you can see, Microsoft, nice bullish candle yesterday popping up chance of this breaking out as a matter of fact it's going to gap above that little resistance here in the chart microsoft going higher this morning visa looking very very good you can see visa having pulled back looking good strong bullish candle yesterday gapping higher this morning gapping above my alert and showing bullishness now you do want to recognize this resistance up here but visa looking good how about valero energy valero incredible bullish engulfing candle yesterday after its pullback into trend holding this price support bulls are everywhere and we're gapping up this morning um tseo tractor supply all set up to go higher here nice little rally breakthrough resistance breaking its downtrend holding support and buyers stepping up here. DOCU, another nice little consolidating move, holding into its trend. Blue sky highs here on DOCU, and a nice bullish candle yesterday, confirming this wants to go higher still. How about um, DOC, uh, I mean, um, X, X I bought yesterday, um, US Steel and uh, bought it right in here beautiful beautiful move yesterday just really really strong pushing on higher and it looks like it is moving on up yet this morning u.s steel looking very very good ebay looking great beautiful breakout here holding that support may have to consolidate a little bit more over here to trend before it goes but ebay looking good how about sq sq could be setting up after breaking through um it's it's little little bit shaky on its trend here but you can see gapping higher this morning right into my alert area um, sq could be setting up so i can just keep doing this all morning here um, pizza pzza beautiful price move up um, all kinds of bullishness in this chart okta another trade that i purchased yesterday looks like it is gapping up this morning okta looking good bulls in control everywhere you look so if you're having trouble finding a good chart uh, maybe i ought to look a little harder there are a lot of good charts out there uh, to be traded so everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day this video has gone a little long I appreciate everyone being here today hopefully you found something in this video to be helpful hope you found made a list of some of these great looking stocks that you can make some money on I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Wednesday morning have a good day everyone